you remember. No lie, girl, when I tell you, you a blessing. You a blessing. Girl, just let me make corrections, yeah. Damn, I've been stressing, yeah. I've been really tripping, babe. Hey, guys, so I'm going to LA and I'm going to be vlogging. I'm here with my little brother. Say hi. And I'm with my other brother. He doesn't really like coming out of my videos. It's okay. And my mom. And then my dad. But he's doing something right now. So, yeah. So I'll be vlogging. And that's about it. <laughs> so, um, it's 7 p.m. right now. Hey, vlog. <laughs> okay, so it's the next day. And um, we got here last night like at 1 in the morning. So I just like knocked out pretty much so that's why I didn't record anymore uh but we're gonna come and eat um breakfast before we go to Universal Studios so. all right so we just finished eating so now we're gonna leave I'm so like, what the hell? But it was good. I had, um, like, steak fries. They're like potato wedges. But, kind of the same thing. So we finally made it. We've parked and everything, so we're about to go into the park. It is not that hot, but it's still pretty hot. Like, the sun is so bright. But, yeah. I'm vlogging for oh, YouTube. Oh, hi. oh, hello, YouTube. How you doing? Part of the vlog. <laughs> you mean the Shrek and Donkey Show? Yeah, but bro, it's the Lion and the Gascar Show. I know you all are here to see me, right? If you folks came to see anybody, you came to see me. But I'm the cutest, and I'm the sweetest. I hate to break it to you, but we're doing a Kung Fu Panda show. See what? Uh, Says everybody here, right? Especially these guys in front, and maybe that family over there. <laughs> They're obviously Kung Fu fans. Look! The helmet of Master Thunder and Light. Fingers, be careful with that. <laughs> Right. 
the day she used that to protect herself from T-Rexes. If you get too close, you would. Alright, so I'm all about to go into the mummy ride. Um, my family want to go ride the Transformer one, but I like the mummy one better because it's like more adrenaline and shit. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do right now. But I'm about to ride alone, which means I could probably skip the line. So well, that's good, I think. there on your right we're going to be circling back around driving through there so our metropolitan sets are a blank slate they can be turned into any city in the world that a filmmaker needs uh, but a lot of these sets are for california everybody the set from back to the future and back to the future part two now your first thought maybe it doesn't look exactly the way it does in that film that's because the clock tower as a set became so recognizable now, when future productions moved in and one these streets have been used as different cities over the years, Chicago for films like The Sting and The Blues Brothers, San Francisco for Dirty Harry, Moscow for Castaway, uh, Los Angeles for Transformers, but usually it's New York. Now, being that we are in Southern California, I'm not really an expert on New York, but you know who is? My co-host, Jimmy Fallon. Hey, everyone, welcome to New York. Creatures from, you know, prehistoric times. So I was thrilled when the universe invited me back. I don't think we're quite there yet. Back to the past with the Flintstones. And you can't talk about cars and Universal without a few from the Fast and Furious franchise, like that Nissan Skyline, which Paul Walker drove in Too Fast, Too Furious. We also have the Gyrosphere from Jurassic World. Can anyone tell me what it's missing? You'll see the camera, the crew. Not good. What about this tank from Transformers? Notice anything weird about it? It's made mostly of plywood. It's not a real tank at all. They just paint it to look metallic. That way it's lighter, can be transported around set easier. Jurassic Park, the Lost World Jurassic Park, and Jurassic and the Spinosaurus. <laughs> that one, that one's a statue, that one's a statue. That one's a theme. 
from the Lost World Jurassic Park movies right here. Beautiful sunny days, I know. Such a bummer. So in a script calls for more extreme weather instead of traveling to places that call sprinklers. Yeah. Let's the water shoot up into the air and flow back down naturally, giving it the illusion of rain in a process we call uh, gravity. Turn off the rain, continue on, because last time all this stuff here, oh, oh no, it's happening, and everybody remain seated. Wow, that flash flood effect was created using 10,000 gallons of Recite Three Amigos, starring Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Chevy Chase. Uh, Nacho Libre, starring Jack Black. That's the development of all use these sets out here. But now we're gonna head a bit north and this near on the lot. They were built in 1915, and they're still being used to this day. Some of you may recognize a new movie out here called Call of the Wild, starring Harrison Ford, that just wrapped up filming the other day, and they had all this area covered in dirt, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, so we will be here. Yeah. I can't risk going to the bad place. Okay, well, maybe it's not all that bad. Yeah, how can I help you? What is the bad place like? Well, it doesn't sound awesome. Out here, that'll be on NBC. Now, a couple other uh, productions that filmed out here. It was Port Royal for Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, here at Universal, we're essentially a rental facility. I've mentioned lots of movies and television shows along the way that were not... Just a moment. Feel free to take a look around. Okay, just a slight tremor that happens in Southern California. Wouldn't be too worried. Oh, no. Okay, everybody, hold on. But if you do have to get up, get up, get up. <laughs> for all the Whoville experts. They use two million linear feet of styrofoam, two thousand candy canes, and enough fake snow to cover nine football fields. Here to her car. What a what a gentleman. Wow. Oh uh, to the trunk of the car. Uh, okay. We may have caught Norman uh, in the middle of some personal business here. We should probably get out of here before he spots us. Oh, he spotted us. Hey, Norman, big fan, big fan. Can I have an autograph? Do you have a pen, perhaps? Oh, that's a, that's a Sharpie. All right, everybody. Norman. Car four, please. Car four, don't make eye contact. Car four. Jersey, but after the plane crash, they wanted the homes to be destroyed. They moved it here to the back lot. So all the homes on the right are replicas of homes in that real neighborhood in New Jersey. So we'll stop here for just a moment and I'll let Steven Spielberg and production designer Rick Carter tell you a little bit more. This party is just getting started. Oh, nope, guess not. Guaranteeing my safety, I'm the one holding the gun. Yeah, but mine's a whole lot bigger than yours. Uh, let's put this guy on this out.
chicken sandwich or chicken tenders. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. But my parents wanna go get um, like beef burgers. I don't like beef burgers, so I don't eat chicken burgers. So, I'm here alone now. But yeah, the tour was fun. I recorded like a lot, of, like the good things. Um, we did it in English, which usually we do it in Spanish because of my parents. But yeah, it was cool though. Many pyrotechnic effects. For your safety and the safety of the performers, we ask you. Hey, who is it? It's a woman. Looks like. It's good to see you alive. We're over to the gate. Hey, Free from the wall. Get out of your water monitor. Yeah. 